used to paint outdoors, and I have a plenty of uh, easel that I can just bring right into my studio spot. Um, the the whole point of plein air painting is to capture what's really there, to capture light, uh, shape, um, color, value, all these things. And so I'll do a, a sketch like this. In fact, this is to the mountains right out here in front of my house, and the sun was going down, and so I did a quick sketch. And um, sometimes I will take this little painting here and translate it into something larger, like. Uh, so that would be an example of this, um, was just kind of a sketch, I guess, a compositional study, and to get the idea of what colors, values, and that kind of thing. And from that, I came up with this finished, this finished piece here. And um, so you can just see it's basically a larger scale of the sketch. Um, so I feel like, you know, a lot of the painting I do is studies and it's practice, might not ever be a finished painting. Um, this was an experiment, this painting here was an experiment with um, using primary color palette, a blue, black, um, a yellow, and a red, and I mix all the colors. So it's a study, it's a basically a practice in color mixing, which uh, I guess that's how I sharpen the sharpen my knife, I guess, um, is by doing exercises like this between sketching, uh, painting, uh, mixing different colors, trying different things. This painting uh, is for the, will be at the National Museum of Wildlife Art this fall in Jackson. Um, I've done that show, oh, I don't know, five or six years. It's such a good show. It's so well organized and um, patronized that I, I come up with something every year. Um, I have a friend that's a wildlife photographer and we trade artwork for images. Um, I've used some of my own images in the past years, but antelope is about the only thing I see for the most part around here. Um, I've done some um, paintings of elk that I've seen um, from my own reference. Um, so yeah, this was Gary Kymig. He's from, uh, he did a, a, a photo of this and I'm, I'm painting from that photo. So a lot of the, the, the etchings I do are, um, I guess more true to the things that I'm interested in, um, the things that are part of my life. Uh, this etching here is called, and it's long sold out, but it's called Scar uh, Stargazer. And um, so I had a lot of writing. I used to write on the plates and etch that. And um, I had it down here and I didn't like it. So I ended up sanding this plate. I probably put three hours of sanding into this. And it ended up with the aqua tints making these cool, like cosmic shapes and I like that the thought of riding a mucking horse and getting into getting the air in the air or in space. And this is a ranch bucking horse. Uh, it's not a like a saddle bronc. Uh, my dad rode saddle broncs. That's how I grew up going to to rodeos and um you now it's very much part of my heritage. And so those kind of things I feel like they um uh, those subject matter probably resonates more with me than, than anything because it's part of where I come from. Um, well, I had this halter just in case I need to tie him up because sometimes when you're painting animals from life, it's hard to get them to stand still long enough. I love horses that paint horses because of their shape, uh, their, uh, their anatomy. Um, in this instance, a white horse, you can see the reflected light in its, in its belly, uh, with the warm light versus the cool light over top. Uh, the temperature's a little different. I like, I mean, as an artist, I love color and I, I enjoy seeing that. Um, there's so much color in, in this horse too, even though he's not white. You can, in bays and sorrows, a lot of times you'll see almost a green. Okay. That horse right there would actually be something I would paint. Uh, just the attitude in his face, the way he's standing there. Again, it's the reflected light. In bays and sorrows, a lot of times you'll see almost a green of Meridian. Uh, and you don't see that in a photograph. 
Just looking at his belly, I see that color almost, you can mix that color uh, immediately because I painted it so much and seen that color. I did this piece for the Trappings of Texas show in Alpine, Texas, the Ross University. Um, so this mare, uh, we, my daughter and I practice uh, for rider horses at the fairgrounds here in Buffalo, and these horses were in a pen. Uh, so she was a bucking horse mare. Um, everything in there was rough stock, and she, I liked the fact that she was, I mean, she was shiny, but yet she had enough mud kick to her feet. Uh, I guess it's maybe just that earthly element that she had to her that, that I wanted to paint. And I had as much fun painting the shadow as I did her. It's uh, oil paint on Richardson board, which um, it's kind of a different look. It's more of a, a vignette. I haven't always painted vignettes, but I, I couldn't imagine what I could add to this painting that would make it any better as far as composition. This is a painting that I, I actually didn't sell, but um, anyway, I was happy to hang it in the house because I like the feel of it. I love, one of my favorite things to paint is reflected light. Um, it, it, I like the illuminated feel. I like landscape and I like wildlife, but I had a real passion for illuminated spaces outdoors, which would be why, you know, in the light in the, in the bush, um, the reflected light in here and the rocks. I was more interested in that maybe than the actual animal, which, I mean, it, it adds interest to the painting. I mean, um, but I guess as a landscape painter, I guess my true passion is just capturing color and light. <laughs>